Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and your friends' friends. That's the only way you can keep me going, refreshed and inspired. Now, if my videos are important to your studies, please don't forget to subscribe. By the cantilever method of approximate analysis, determine the following for member FG. Each floor is 5 meters high, the shear force, bending moment, axial force. So this was solved by, by the portal method. This time let's solve this by the cantilever method. So since areas are not given by principle, each column area is shown to be 1. So there are 4 columns, therefore area is 4 times xa to locate the neutral axis or centroid of column areas equals this column here 1 times 15 plus the area of this column 1 times 25 plus the area of this column 1 times 45 so xa is equal to 21.25 meters so having found the location of the center of column areas which is true for all floors so this is xa 21.25 so 21.25 minus 15 is 6.25 for this column then 10 minus 6.25 is 3.75 then distance of this column from the centroid of column areas is 45 minus 21.25 so 23.75 so its column height is 5 meters so moment of inertia in level 3 equals moment of inertia in level 2 as well as in level 1. So summation of area distance square for column at A, area is 1, then distance 21.25 square, column of B, 1 times 6.25 square plus 1 times 3.75 square plus 1 times 23.75 square. So the moment of inertia is equal to 1068.75 uh, units to the fourth. So moment in level 3 is 50 times 2.5, so 125. Moment in level 2 is 50 times 7.5, 5 plus 2.5, plus 100 times 2.5. So M2 is 50 times 7.5 plus 100 times 2.5, so 625 kilonewton meter. For stress diagram, force in column uh, CD over area 1, so that's the stress equals moment in level 3, which is 125, then C or X distance from neutral axis 21.25 over moment of inertia. So FCD can now be computed. It is equal to 2.485 kilonewtons. We also need FHG as to 1 equals moment 125 then distance 1.25 over moment of inertia. So FHG equals 0 0.7310 kilonewtons. Kilonewton. Then F BC as to 1 equals moment in level 2625 distance 21.25 over 1068.75. So FBC is 12.427 kilonewtons. So we, we must remind ourselves for that. Then FFG as to 1 e equals 625 times 6.25 over moment of inertia 1068.75. So FFG is can now be computed. It is 3.655 kilonewtons. So that's the actual force answer in part C, compression. So we then draw a free body diagram. So remember that this is FCD 2.485. So this is also in compression because the forces are at the left. So this is also 2.485. Then force in BC 
12.427. Therefore, this is equal to 12.427 minus 2.485. That's why we have 9.942 uh, kilonewtons. So, summation moment about this point equals 0. Shear in CD times 2.5 equals 2.485 times 7.5. That's 7.5 half of 15. So shear in CD is equal to 7.455 kilonewtons. Then we need shear in VC. We sum up moment here. So this is 7.455, which is equal to shear in CD. 7.455 also. So 7.455, so share in VC summation moment here times 2.5, then plus 2.485 times 7.5, then it is equal to uh, plus 7.455 times 2.5 equals 12.427 times 7.5. So share in BC is equal to 22.371 kilonewtons. So therefore, this is 22.371 minus 7.455. That's why we have 14.916. Again, share in BC 22.371 minus 7.455 equals 14.916. So let's have that on the next slides. So 22.371. Then from the preceding results, this was the results. Then let's have the free body diagram of the upper part so that we can solve for FHL. So, this 3.216 is equal to 2.485 plus 0.731 for the force in Hg. So, for part A, summation moment about this point 0, considering this free body diagram. So, FHL times 2.5. And the rest would be equals equals 3.216 times 5. 5 is half of 10 plus 2.485 times 7.5 then plus 7.455 times 2.5. So from there we can solve FHL. FHL equals 21.342 kilonewtons. So we then draw free body diagram of this portion here so that we can solve the shear in FG. So this is the shear in FG and these are the forces involved. So let's sum up moment about GK here, midpoint or center. So we can solve for VFG. So VFG times 2.5 plus 22.371 times 2.5. Then plus 21.342 times 5. Then equals 12.427 times 20 plus 3.655 the force in FG, which is solved in the preceding slide, times 5. So shear in FG can now be solved. It is equal to 41.67 kilonewtons. Finally, the moment at G is 41.67 times 2.5. So moment in FG is moment at G, moment at F, 41.67 times 2.5. So moment is equal to 104.2 kilonewton meters. So that's it for this problem.